Thank you for tuning in to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today is June 11th, 2019. This is Mari sitting in for Jake with Space Weather News. Let's take a look at our solar wind conditions right now. The speed is 311.3 kilometers per second with a density of 5.1. Checking out our sun today, it is blank, no sunspots. Our current stretch is 23 days and that's 97 spotless days for 2019. Our KP indices is sitting at a one, and our 24 hour max is also sitting at a one. And taking a look at the SDO, we see our coronal hole that Jake was talking about yesterday. Solar wind flowing from this northern coronal hole could reach Earth on June 12th through the 13th. There will be a slight chance of storms tomorrow. A stealthy CME might hit Earth's magnetic field on June 12th. Four days ago, as Jake discussed, a magnetic filament on the sun exploded. No CME was observed, leaving the blast site, but NOAA forecasters think it may exist anyway. A faint storm cloud moving slowly across the sun-Earth divide. If the CME does exist, its impact could spark a minor geomagnetic storm in high altitude altitude auroras on Wednesday. And now, some quick world news headlines. Heavy rain turns Wadis into raging rivers causing deadly floods in southern and eastern Yemen. The rains hit June 9th, leaving at least three people dead. According to security officials, torrential rains, lightning, and strong winds caused a number of injuries in addition to blocking main roads in Aden and other neighboring provinces. Two deaths were reported in Aden and another in the province of Shabwa after floods hit the region. Numerous homes and cars were submerged. Wadis turned into raging rivers, destroying crops and roads. According to local media reports, rainwater mixed with sewage in one province threatened the lives of residents as they may suffer from the spread of diseases and epidemics. Weather officials said Aden recorded 77 millimeters of rain, that's 3.3 inches of rain on June 8th, with most of it falling in a three-hour period. A key highway in Switzerland closed after a severe storm hit. Heavy rain affecting Switzerland since June 9th caused a temporary shutdown of a key highway in the central region of Goddard. A landslide has also affected railway connections. The region of Bern and Zurich have been particularly affected, receiving between 40 and 75 millimeters of rain. That's 1.5 to 2.95 inches of rain. Heavy rains in the Goddard region caused the roof River level to rise, exceeding the limit value, and closing the A2 motorway in both directions between the towns of Amsteg and Fluland. A mud flow hit a roadway in Gertnellen area of Uri Canton, damaging one car. Nine people were evacuated from the area, but no injuries were reported. Rock falls have been recorded on several roads in Tinsio, and there's a risk of further slides in the Canton, according to the Swiss Touring Club. Tropical cyclone Vayu strengthening on its way across Pakistan. Extremely heavy rain is expected. Tropical cyclone Vayu formed June 10th in the Arabian Sea as the third named storm of the 2019 North Indian Ocean cyclone season. The system is gradually strengthening as it heads towards Gujarat and Pakistan. Heavy rain is expected across coastal India and especially over Pakistan, where Vayu may stall before moving further inland. As always, we'll keep you updated. Thank you for tuning in to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and please like and share.